Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to my classic car, home of the certified car nut. Well, this week we're in Ontario, Canada for the Wasaga Beach Fun Run. This resort destination is about an hour and a half north of Toronto, and it's played host to a pretty cool car show for a number of years now. Joining me is uh, Rick Seif, the head of the loosely knit group that puts this on. Is that right, Rick? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really a club. You know, Dennis, uh, a lot of the guys that are in this group have been in clubs, and uh, it just sometimes doesn't work out. I mean, you. You've got a treasurer, you've got a... You well, know, you start got, getting official, you know, you start messy. getting official. And you lose the car thing, <laughs> That's don't you? right, and then before you know it, you've, you've, your club's in pieces. Uh, this one seems to work not being a club. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, tell me about Wasaga Beach. This place is really cool. Wasaga Beach has great history. Uh, been, a, been a cottage area or a beach area north of Toronto uh, going back about 1920 or thereabouts. And the cars coming north from Toronto dating back to there. Uh, it used to be that the, the whole beachfront would be covered in cars and buses and there's photographs around town in the 40s and what have you. Uh, just a great place to come and, and show off your car. I mean, even back then, show off your car. That's, that's but really now, cool. I mean, we're, we're driving on asphalt. We're a little bit more environmentally friendly to our beach. And um, the cars are up here. The, everyone comes. The hot rod guys come. The tuner guys come. Everybody brings cars to the beach. Well, beautiful place. A lot of great looking cars. How many do you think you'll have here today? I think we have about 400 cars today. And uh, it, it's just, it's, it's going to be great. I mean, the weather is just on the edge for us, but it's not raining. It's and, not raining. It's, you know, it's nice. It's, it's a yeah. beautiful temperature. Cars coming from far and wide? Or? We've had cars here as far uh, seven hours away, uh, St. Jolais, uh, Quebec. We have a car here from there. We have cars here from Ottawa and Canada, which is about a five-hour drive. We've got some cars here from Rochester, New York. So we've got a fairly good, fairly good group. So it's an international show. It's an international, it's an international show. show. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of, you know, good mix too. I mean, you got you got rods, you got, you know, customs, classics, a little bit of everything. We've been really happy with the mix of cars. I mean, it's uh, it's out there as a classic car show, but I mean, truly, it's street rods. It's it's uh, trucks. Cruisers, so you know uh -huh. what does that mean? That means anything. <laughs> <laughs> we try to make it fun, and you gotta so, love it. Well, you it's know, it's a lot of work to do behind one of these shows, and, and even though it's a fun run, I know you've got some things to do. But keep it busy. Cruise down, look at a few cars, maybe sure. check out the beach while we're. Let's do all that. Right, all right. <laughs> back to My Classic Car and the Wasaga Beach Fun Run in Ontario, Canada. Well, Gilles, this is, uh, this is quite a setup here. You've uh, you really got a display going here. I like this. What do we have, yeah. a 1941? 1941, yeah, Ford pickup. Beautiful, beautiful car, beautiful truck. What do you have power in this baby? A uh, 305 Chevy, stock engine. What's well, a nice engine, good, rugged. Oh, yeah. That's and strong enough to, to pull the, the whole thing, you know? Uh-huh. That's not very heavy, the trailer in the back. And your, your, your paint job's kind of a salmon? Salmon, yeah. Yeah, but I love the, the green turquoise counter color. It's very 50s looking. Yeah. And you've uh, shaved the handles? Yeah, shaved the handles. Everything uh, work electric, you know? Oh, yeah? That's open, uh, suicide? open uh, suicide oh, doors. Nice. Yeah. Now, did you do this work yourself? Yeah, I do myself, yeah. And where are you from? I'm from uh, St. Julie, near Montreal, Montreal area. Wow, yeah. beautiful interior too. Yeah, I did myself. Wow, all, you do it all? All leather, oh yeah. Oh man. Every, I touch everything. You're a full service kind of guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's a heck of a mustache too. I really yeah. love that. I, but uh, you know, moving on back, uh, you know, the, the Schwinn bikes and uh, another one about 50s era, what do we have? Yeah, Schwinn bicycles in uh, 1950. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one, that's the German bike. Uh, Stelber, they call it Stelber. It's uh, oh. 1949. That must be a very rare bike. That's a very rare bike. Well, yeah. and you also have your own trailer. I love uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> now this looks very. That's 50s. my little house. That's your house. <laughs> very 1950s look. Also, is that? 1950. Wooded? That's a 75 baller Canadian oh, made the trailer, and I done like in the 50s. Look uh -huh. like in the 50s. Wow, it's it's yeah. it's fantastic. Can can we go in? Sure. All right, let's check this out. Watch your head. Yeah. <laughs> Gilles, this is fantastic. This yeah. is great. It's like a, it's like a Betty Boop diner here. My wife, she's a, a fan of Betty Boop. I can tell. So, so when you travel, do you stay in this? 
Yeah, we stay in this. Uh, even last night, we slept inside the, in the campground, <laughs> not far from here. And in the morning, we put the, the table up, and we had the breakfast here. Is, is this the bed here? Is this the yeah? The, the tables go down, and uh, we fold this, and uh, we sleep sleep like this. You know, <laughs> we're not very tall, so we fit inside. Did you drive this over from yeah. Montreal? Yeah, we drive it. Drive it everywhere. How far is that? Uh, I'm seven hours from here. So <laughs> you oh, yeah. are dedicated. Gilles, this is just, this is great. I'm so glad you drove the seven hours. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Ken, this is a beautiful baby. 38 Plymouth Business Coupe. Is it a business coupe? Yes, it is. Man, beautiful, beautiful car. And you know, Thank you. you've changed the color a little bit, a little touch in the interior, but it looks pretty stock. Yeah, it is. Wow. Did you, uh, did you have to restore it? Yeah, I did. Um, it took about three years to do. Now, where did you find this car? Uh, in a shed in the evening. It was my uncle's car. Wow. So had he had he bought the car new? Well, his aunt bought it new so in, in New York. In New York. So, so it's it's your uncle's aunt's car. Yeah. From from New York. Yeah. Wow. So it's it's been in the family pretty much the whole time. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. And you happened to know where it was, though, right? Exactly. <laughs> and that's why you have it. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, color is really neat. These were typically, you know, black or. Or whatever you've got. Yeah, it was black originally. It was, eh? Yeah. Two-tone gold. What are the colors? They're two uh, Honda colors. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, they look. It's great easier on the to car. care for than black. Well, it sure is. And uh, and you've uh, you've chromed it really nicely too. Do you have to restore all the chrome? Yes, it is. Oh yeah. That's Naturally, true. that was done out. Yeah. But the interior you left, uh, you know, very original looking. Yeah. It's just gorgeous, and the the gauges are so classic. I love them. Now these business coupes had had a lot of room in the back, so. Yeah, behind the seat, there's spare tires on this side and there's shelving on that side. Oh, wow, so you, did, you had a lot of room in there. With so much trunk, I don't know why they put the spare in there. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you could really do some business yeah. with this car. Well, at least some room for uh, stereo stuff now. But. Yeah. <laughs> but these are typically, uh, when you do find them, they've been pretty heavily rotted. Uh, you know, I think it's wonderful you kept it looking pretty Yeah, stout. that's why I went original, uh -huh. more or less, because of so many rods. And, well, actually, uh, you're, you're more different this way. You yeah. stand out more, yeah. I think. Yeah. Beautiful, so. beautiful car. Now, now, when we pop the hood, we're not going to see a 350 Chev or something in there, are we? No, it's, uh, I'll show you the Mini Hemi. <laughs> the Mini Hemi, yes. The Flathead 6. Again, very original looking, beautiful. She's no speedster. <laughs> uh, and does she does she run pretty nice? It does ride nice. Uh, speed limit is is nice. Other uh, than that, you, know, you don't want to go right. yeah, crazy. It wasn't, really built, wasn't built to do that. No, you know? no. But at the limit, she cruises nice, huh? Now, yeah, now where do you yeah, live? Do you live around here? Uh, about 10 minutes from here in oh, Collingwood. Okay. So. It's a great place for a show though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Man. And you just got it done, so is this the first show for it? First we'll show here. Oh, we had it done late uh, last July. Wow. Well, hey, thanks for bringing it down to the beach. Thanks. You're welcome. Great looking car, man. Thank you. Well, Rich, this is pretty wild. This is a 69 Dart Swinger Mod Top, right? That's what they call yes, it? Yes, it is. That's what they call it. Man. Now, <laughs> This is so 60s and it's so wild. They couldn't have made many of them because I don't think they could have sold many of them. But but how many did they make, do you know? Uh, the production numbers that I have are in the swingers, they made 50 of them. Wow. And um, from then, you, it's about 50, 50, four speed and automatic. And yeah. this is actually a true four speed car. Wow. Now, now they made they made 50 of these. Is this a mod top clone or is this the real deal? No, this is the real deal. Unbelievable. It's uh, very <laughs> rare. Now the, the the fabric up here, you've obviously redone this. Where did, is this the real stuff, or what'd you what'd you come up with? No, this is real NOS material. I uh, got lucky with a couple of phone calls to California, found a roll of material. Um, it's actually date coded third month '69. What a find! NOS NOS mod top. I always like the back window of these. You know, there's a lot of complex curves in that. It curves this way, dishes that way. It uh, and, and it makes for you know a really nice. Rear, rear glass, and, and actually the mod top trim looks pretty good back here. I can't believe I'm saying this actually, but it does, it looks pretty good. Actually, the car does look good. Uh, the color combination surprised me how good it did look. Uh-huh, and you know, the, you got the, the swinger stripe back here, real Mopar stuff going on. Pretty good color too, is it stock? Yeah, it's a stock color. It's uh, actually the mid-year 69 color. Uh, it's called bright green metallic, uh, and the paint code's F6. Pretty, um, 
Dart-esque interior. Pretty standard. Pretty, uh, it's, not, not uh, a lot going on. Bare bones. Basically, um, what you got is what you need. They didn't even offer a tack in 69. You have an option there. So the radio is an option. The radio is an option and the cigarette lighter is an option. <laughs> the cigarette lighter was an option? Yes. <laughs> and uh, her shifter? Factory? Factory her wow. shifter. Nice. Oh, nice. So powering it, we've got the, uh, that's the 340. 340. 340. Can we have a look at it? Certainly can. Wow. Now that, uh, <laughs> that blue block sort of clashes with the bright green metallic, doesn't it? It does, but when you restore them, you got to bring them back to that's factory. the way it was. So that's the way that's it was. the way it is. Now you restored this how long ago? Uh, I was restored back on the road in 2001. I've got over 20,000 miles on the car since the restoration. You know, it doesn't look any worse for the wear. It doesn't. You know, you do great work. Hey, Rich. Uh, it's pretty mod. Thank you very much, <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> pretty cool. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Okay, Rusty, it's a, uh, it's a, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a 1948 Ford Prefect two-door. A Ford Prefect, or in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it was a Ford Perfect, right? Ford, Ford, Perfect. Ford Perfect. Ford Perfect. For a sure. Ford Prefect. Now, you've done a little bit of work on this. It's, it looks like she's chopped down. It is. How uh, much? We've taken uh, the roof line seven and a half inches from front. I mean, that's a serious back. chop. Yes, very. Um, we narrowed the car uh, two feet, and we shortened the car a foot and a half. Man. <laughs> and we took, uh, as you can see, from a four-door, to a two-door. Well, I was trying to figure that out. I mean, it almost looks sedan delivery, but you got the window. It was a four-door, huh? It was a four-door, and what happened is we uh, Frenched in the back, uh, Frenched in the rear doors, pocketed in the window in the rear. There was a pocket here yeah, window yeah. at one time for the passengers, and uh, did it all in metal. Those uh, rear exhausts are from a, uh, an old bar in the back of Collingwood. <laughs> that uh, we asked the gentleman who was throwing them out if I could take them home. What, what is it, a bar stool or something? They, they, are, they were the bottom ends of bar stools, stainless <laughs> bar stools. You gotta love that. And uh, 59 caddy taillights? 59 French tin caddy taillights. Very blue nice. Dots. Very nice. Yeah, you do good work. Now, uh, uh, does this get a lot of looks? <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people um, when, I'm, when I'm driving it are uh, trying to figure out what it is. What is it? Well, I was what too, is actually. A Ford Prefect. And what year did you say? In 1948. 40, 48. And you've done uh, done some nice little interior work there too. Uh, we've uh, taken a uh, MG front seats and yeah. pocketed them in. Uh, we've taken a Mopar dashboard from a Dodge Charger and oh, narrowed okay. it in and put it in. Okay. Uh, I had a friend of mine build a telescopic steering wheel for it. Hey, you street riders, you're so you're so innovative. I was, now, what do we what do we have under this? I mean, you got a you got a you got a 502, you got a you got a 572, you got you got a what do you got here? Uh, first thing, it's an inline six 250, <laughs> which I like even better. Open her up. Let's have a look. For sure. Oh, that's great, man. It's a 260 Chevy inline six with a uh, Clifford manifold, high rise Offenhauser, with a four barrel. It'll brock carburetor. You know, I think that's even cooler. I mean, I, I just, who else would do that? Yeah, everybody that, uh, when I was putting it together, told me I was a little crazy that I should be putting in either a 350 or yeah. a 327. No. And uh, my neighbor said that, you know what? Not anybody or everybody builds hot rods out of six cylinders. No, <laughs> this is this is extremely cool. Thank you. So have you been to the show before? I, I did, I was here last year and uh, we had a windstorm last year. Uh, down here, but today it seems to be perfect. Sort of sandblasted the cars. We had it? major sandblasting last year, for sure. <laughs> well, what a great locale, though, Wasaga Beach. I mean, it's just like a vacation destination. This is the greatest spot to have a car show is here. It is so great. It's wide open. Look at the scenery. I know. This I know. is, uh, where else would you rather be? Well, one might say, perfect. It's perfect, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Rusty, thanks, man. Dennis, thank you very much. Way cool. Thank you. Well, we really did have some fun at the Wasaga Beach Fun Run. Nice folks, great cars, and a killer location. Not exactly the image that comes to mind when you think of the Great White North. So if you want to have some summer fun on the beach and take in a really cool car show, it's worth the trip up here. 